check. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Beardo Cleaver. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing most excellent today. Today is a historic, historic and momentous day. Oh, yes. The first time we're streaming from my PS3, PlayStation 3. Let's go. What better game to play and stream than one of my favorite games, Fallout New Vegas? Uh, yeah, I've played this game a lot in the years, over the years. Picked it up when it first came out back in, what was that, 2009, 2010? Holy shit, that, this game can't be 10 years old, can it? 2012, maybe? No. <laughs> yeah, I've beaten it a few times. Uh, I've never beaten all of the DLC. I've only beaten Honest Hearts and Dead Money. So that leaves Old World Blues and uh, Lonesome Road that I haven't beaten. I've played them, but I haven't beaten them. So I've been trying to stream for my PS3 for months now. Like, I had one HDMI splitter because the PS3 has something called HDCP, which is like copyright protection, which prevents you from streaming from the PS3. What you have to do, you have to bypass that by getting a HDMI splitter. That's what I did. I, I bought one about a year ago, maybe more, but for some reason it just didn't work, or maybe I just didn't... That's with the settings enough. Get it to work. Never so I just ordered another one from Amazon, showed up today. When Had to go out and buy another work, HDMI cable, which I did. did Got it hooked up. Underground vaults. That's working. When they opened, their inhabitants set out now, if I can only find... Old world to build new society, I guess it's like a 3.5 mil to quarter inch adapter. So I can hook up my headset through my interface. So much better. The new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. Hoover Dam. But across the Colorado, is that a goddamn had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribal and police robots. You are a courier. Hired Me am a courier? Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after. So pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Moon presence. We can get it over with. Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? He's a fink. Biggest fink there is. You've made your last delivery. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Math carry.
tribal pack items added to inventory. Classic pack items added to inventory. Mercenary pack items added to inventory. Caravan pack items added to inventory. Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? My name is Borat. Beardo Clevo. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. You're not my dad. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you better tell me if I left anything out of place. <laughs> okay, we're not going to make him look as messed up as before. How'd I do? That's good. Yes. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that matters. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Okay, so we gotta account for uh, the speech checks that'll be happening. Good we so could always far. change it later on, so let's pick the ahead, perks that we want now. Time. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculty. Strength will tell you how easily a cowboy totes his saddle and those bigger firearms. How much help he's going to be for Yacht in a saloon brawl. A perceptive cowboy always knows when there's a lit stick of dynamite nearby, or when a varmint's sneaking up on him. Can't keep a good cowboy down, not if he's the enduring type, and not if he's got a six-shooter the size of all tarnation. You'll find there are some smooth-talking cowboys out there that got themselves a voice sounds like an angel's harmonica. A smart cowboy's good at most anything, from sucking the poison out of your rattler bite to fixing your broken wagon axle. A fella's in a gun fight and shoots the other guy six times before they can get off a shot, it's because that fella is agile. Some folk claim not to believe in luck, but when they lose in a duel, you'll hear them say, That lucky son of a gun! Uh, strength for now is a dump stat. High charisma... Uh, high int. Okay, what does agility do again? Only 
see none of those right now. Uh, okay, we need speech, science, and repair, and explosives while we're in good springs. Basically dead. Oh, that should be higher. That is high. Okay, good. Let's put it in. It's done your brain some good. Well, oh. we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter than a big one or drop them. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of... Take a seat in my couch. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. No. Dog. No. House. Shelter. Night. Uh, sleep. Bandit. Friend. Light. And see. Mother. Cookie. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you've said. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. It's very true. Run away. I'm given to relying on others for support. Uh, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. No. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Yes. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. With my helmet on. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. I see a uh, chemical reaction. Okay. How about this one? I see a hoo-ha. Last one. A uh, mushroom cloud. Well, that's all she wrote. Don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Yeah, let's go speech. These are exactly what I need already. Hair and science. Yeah, that'll do it. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Taking Wild Wasteland and Good Natured. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out.
This 9mm submachine gun is broken but can possibly be restored to a fully functioning weapon. Repair the 9mm uh, submachine gun. Back to the chemistry set. It's a bubbling. There appears to be enough chemical components available to create a small quantity of chems, assuming one has the knowledge to do such a thing. It's some stim packs, create some drugs, psycho, buff out, mentat, steady, and let's go create some stim packs. all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find the next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Went through my stuff? Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Thanks for passing me up, Doc. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. The metal fella. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. No promises. Uh, Fallout New Vegas allows you to play in a new hardcore mode that greatly increases the challenge of the game. This mode stim packs heal over time and cannot mend broken limbs. Right away removes radiation over time. Ammunition has weight. Hydration is a constant concern. This mode is only recommended for advanced players. Turn hardcore mode on and off at any time in the gameplay menu, but if you activate hardcore mode now, maintain it through the end of the main storyline, you'll receive a special reward. Would you like to activate hardcore mode? No. And that special reward is a trophy. Nothing physical, just a damn old trophy. I expect you'll be wanting to go outside after being cooped up for so long, but if you have any questions, I'll answer what I can. I'm in a lot of pain, Doc. Can you spare any more? Of course. You've been through a lot. You ain't much, but these will do you I think right. there was a second speech check, too, here, if I remember correctly. Maybe not. Uh, do you know anything about the man that shot me? I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Your best bet would probably be Trudy, the bartender at the saloon up the road. If anyone saw anything, she would know about it. I'm hurt. I need help, Doc. I don't see nothing wrong with you. I need glasses. I need medical supplies. Sure. No, don't. Uh, tell me about yourself, Doc. Well, I already told you I came from a vault. After that, I was a traveling doctor for a spell. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people with medical know-how are hard to come by. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. Eventually, I went back and married my childhood sweetheart, and that was the end of my traveling days. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. Uh, you said before something was taken from you? Well, ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. What town is this? Uh, this here's Good Springs, named after the water we got here, just down the road to the southeast. Good Springs Source, they call it. It's a quiet town, and that's how we like it. We don't go looking for trouble, though occasionally it sees fit to come looking for us. 
What else can you tell me about Good Springs? Well, there's a general store just up the road, run by a fella named Chet. He don't got nothing fancy, but he's got your basics covered. If you're looking to wet your whistle, just past Chet's is the Prospector Saloon. The bartender there, Trudy, knows everyone in town. I Other bet she that, does. Not much to see. Just people trying to scratch out a living. Who was it that rescued me? That'd be Victor. Curious fella. He's sort of odd, and I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. See, he's real friendly, don't get me wrong. You just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. Oh, it's not. Nice. He keeps to himself, mostly. You want to know more about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. Uh, goodbye. You take care now. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Apparel can consist of many different types of gear, ranging from clothing and armor to sunglasses and hats. DT, some apparel grants damage threshold DT to the wearer. Your DT is the sum of all DT for currently equipped apparel, plus any bonuses from perks or chems. DT is directly subtracted from incoming damage, so a higher DT provides superior protection. Although a small percentage of damage can get through even the thickest armor, a high DT is quite valuable. CND, apparel's condition how much protection it provides apparel above 50 percent cnd provides maximum protection and only needs to be maintained light medium heavy medium and heavy apparel will slow characters down when equipped <gasps> excuse me repair this option of opens the repair sub menu which allows apparel to be repaired by salvaging parts from similar <gasps> goddamn similar items Hey, Titanfire, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Let's get the hell out of here. What's new with you, Titanfire? This is my first time ever streaming from my PS3. Finally got all the parts I need. Still not perfect, but it's a start. You have discovered Good Springs, Old World Blues. You've gotten a fragmented signal in your Pip-Boy. A coded transmission of some sort with a sad, jazzy undercurrent that makes your head hurt. Like all jazz. As far as you can tell, it appears to be an invitation to the Midnight Science Fiction feature at the Mojave Drive-In. Please arrive early to catch the trailers. You're doing well? That's good to hear, man. You having a good summer? Good weekend so far? Old World Blues has been loaded. Your level cap has been raised by five. Your pit boy has picked up a radio broadcast from the Happy Trails Caravan Company. They're looking for one more member for an expedition to Zion Valley. It's me. You had a PS3 in the Fallout 3 Game of the Year edition? Nice. Yeah, that game is awesome. That's like an essential game. So much fun. This is like Fallout mixed with Red Dead Redemption because you're a cowboy. Not really, but it's like a Western Fallout. Honest Hearts has been loaded. Your level cap has been raised by five. Your pit boy has received a signal. Coordinates that lead you that lead to the canyon wreckage west of Prim. Uh, following the coordinates are the words Courier 6. It's signed. Lysis. Have you played this, Titanfire? Lonesome Road has been loaded. Your level cap has been increased by five. As soon as we get all the notifications away, I'm gonna make a save. Gun Runners Arsenal. The ongoing conflict in the Mojave Wasteland has kicked weapon manufacturers into high gear. All major and minor weapon dealers in the region are rolling in new weapons, ammunition types, and modifications. Head to your nearest participating vendor to peruse the merchandise. Gun Runners Arsenal has been loaded. Yeah, I wish so too. Imagine this game on PS4, how much better that would be, like the, with the combat of PS or uh, Fallout 4. Resurrector, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Welcome in. 
Just in time for the Sierra Madre Grand Opening. <laughs> Your pit boy has picked up a radio broadcast inviting you to the grand opening of the Sierra Madre Casino. Dead money has been loaded. Your level cap has been raised by five. Home sweet home. You know it. This is uh, deja vu. It's good to be back playing New Vegas. First stream from a PS3 as well. Okay, let's make a save here. Oh, nice. You got Doritos and pizza? You got to put some Doritos on the pizza? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I've never done that myself, but uh, it sounds sounds delicious. Yeah, it's going to be a series. Hell yeah. Playing right to the end. I figure this is the best way to stream, because I could stream directly from the PS4 and use the capture card on the PS3. Easily. <laughs> Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite him. Posh was auto corrected. What did you mean to write instead? Oh, Doritos are a side dish. Okay. <laughs> Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Actually, uh, I'm a little short on caps. I don't suppose there's any work available. There's any work available? Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Looking forward to it. Nice, Most thank you. In there is junk, but. There's this old safe that even... Yeah, it should be pretty regularly, a few times a week. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. A magazine on locksmiths? If the lock's too much for you to handle, reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. And the bobby pins? You'll need those to pick the lock. <laughs> no, but you know, if, if you like Doritos on pizza, what's stopping you, right? I would try it next time if I had Doritos. I, I would agree to that, that Americans are fucking nuts. All right, I'll go take a look at that safe when I have a chance. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. Uh, Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to, to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can So whereas Fallout 4 is more of like a shooter with screen. RPG elements, this is like an RPG with shooting elements. Complete opposite. And I quite miss playing it. It's a lot more dialogue based and decision based, choice based. So yeah, this will be like a casual completionist playthrough. Probably siding with Mr. House, but I haven't decided yet fully. These crates are an excellent source of Sunset Sarsaparilla. It's very true. That's very true, man. I wrote a song a while ago called uh, Red, Black, and Blue that has lyrics like that. Uh, let's see if I remember. It's like, uh, Home of the Brave. Oh, I'll start from the beginning. It's like, I can't believe all the suffering is caused by greed of those we trust them to pay the cost in the land of freedom. Home of the Brave, where blood is, is, where blood is no loss. That's it. Okay, what do I have to do? You shoot her. Shoot three sarsaparilla bottles outside the prospector's saloon. Don't say how far we have to be. Well, that's a start. 
but I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Wasn't there just another shooting in uh, Ohio about a week ago? Dayton, Ohio, I think. Why don't you come along? Okay. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Doggo. Cheyenne, that's her name. What's going on here? I miss the jankiness of this game. So much different from PS4. Yeah, what do you think is the the cause? If I had to guess, I would say the availability of guns. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. My uneducated, unbiased like opinion. Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Let's put the varmint rifle. Uh. Oh shit! Those vats again. R2. Welcome to the Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, or VATS. VATS displays the chance it will hit along with the condition of each body part. R1 is attack your target. Left stick is change body parts. Our right stick is change targets. Circle is cancel and attack. X is accept your actions. The number of attacks you can make is limited by your action points. Match. Holy shit! Splatter only. Getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. If you want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure, I'll come with you. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially the two of us. Come with me. Just the two of us, you and I. <laughs> That's part of it, definitely. Bad parenting, just deterioration of mental health amongst our youth, definitely. Because people say, you know, video games cause violence and mass shooting, but no. It's like, video games exist all over the world, but other countries don't have as bad mass shootings as the states do. Whoa! A lot of mid-flight. So I think it's just like, the, the easiness of getting guns, I think. And because you can get them, as far as I know, uh, like they don't require like a mental health check, right? Or background check. Ridiculous. Thought there was a shovel. Here's the shovel. We need the shovel to dig up graves because there's loot in graves. Oh shit, there's a lady down here, that's right. 
We gotta prevent her from dying. There's a lady. Wait, is that her? Oh, it's not her. It is her. Shit. Hey, Cleaver. Gotta take it. Gotta take that. Ah, hell's bells. Why hell's bells? People not to come here by themselves. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Been hurt. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Okay, let's go to the schoolhouse first. I'd agree with that for sure. So it seems like mental illness is really uh, stigmatized and looked down upon. And maybe people are afraid to get the help they need when it comes to mental illness. So they're, they're more likely to think that there's no hope. So they go and get a gun and commit mass murder and suicide and shit like that. That is no good. Um, oh yeah, we got to go to the schoolhouse. That's a good way of putting it. Objects aren't the enemy. Thoughts are, exactly. If you have murderous thoughts, you can kill with a knife. A kitchen knife. Thirty two percent. Let's go in here. There's good shit in here. Oh, shit. What am I doing? Die, 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 die. Oh, my God.
Exactly, exactly. We gotta have the thoughts first, and hopefully, it's it's the the peaceful, um, loving thoughts that prevent shootings and mass casualties and tragedies and stuff like that. Some terminals are protected and can't be accessed without a password. If your science skill is high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. Selecting the correct password will grant you access. If your guess is incorrect, you'll be shown how many letters match the correct password and in the correct location. You have four tries to guess correctly. If you fail, the terminal will, rem will remain inaccessible until you own the password. You can exit hacking at any time and try again. However, exiting the terminal will force its security to reset, delaying your ability to start hacking again. And what I always do, if if a terminal uh, controls a lock, like a physical lock, I hack, or I, I solve both. Like, I choose the password for the XP, and then I pick it with my lock pick. Allows replenish, goddammit. Sliding, that's four out of seven, so it's close to sliding. Ceiling? Five out of seven. Element? Oh. Hmm. Well, of course, yeah, you, you gotta defend your own home and your own family, of course. Of course. Let's try getting. Helping? Oh, god damn it. I don't want to be locked out. What are we picking? Oh, here's the safe right there. Right stick applied torque with a screwdriver. Left stick rotate the bobby pin. Square is force lock. When torque is applied, the closer the bobby pin is to the correct position or sweet spot, the more the lock will rotate before the bobby pin breaks. Only when the bobby pin is in the correct position will the lock rotate fully and open. You can also try to open the lock by forcing it, but if you fail, the lock will permanently be broken and you can only be, and it can only be opened with the key. Well, shit. <laughs> That's very true. Humans are assholes. Guns aren't assholes. Excuse me, guns are not assholes. Humans are. Nice, we got a stealth boy. We need to uh, respec our character before we level up. Because there's some perks that I, I want that I don't think we can get with our current specs.
thought I saw a mailbox up here too. Nice. That's a good that's a good philosophy. Just follow follow the common sense, man. It's uh, surprising how many people don't follow that. And they're following money and greed and power and corruption. Fucking common sense, dude. That's it. Treat other people the way you want to be treated. Be nice to people. Be respectful to people. You fuckers! <laughs> Welcome to the Mojave Express. Mojave Express drop boxes like this one can be used to deliver items to any Mojave Express drop box that you've discovered. Once you find a Mojave Express drop box, just activate it and you'll be able to use that location to send and receive items. Gosh. Yeah, let's put a lot of stuff back. Exactly. There's there's too many variables uh, included with the black or white. Like if you choose either side, that means you got to choose everything that they stand for. And I don't agree with everything. I don't disagree with everything that they choose. I'm going to allow that. So, yeah. It's all shades of fucking gray. You've played New Vegas before, right, Rez? What the hell? Bickering for the sake of bickering, exactly. Oh, no, wait. It's okay if I level up now because I could always... Uh, re-choose my skills and perks and get that level up back so it's okay. I just realized that. I just remember that. Oh, shit. We have a melee weapon, don't we? Sweet. What? I thought we could only do this when there's no enemies. Uh, I guess survival now. We could always change it. Because once we leave Good Springs, we'll get a chance to respec and we get those levels back. Uh, 
That's what we need, Brock Flower. Snow Globe, Good Springs. We found a limited edition Mojave Landmark Snow Globe. Those rare, these rare pre-war artifacts are widely considered to be useless baubles. But rumor has it some collectors will pay dearly for them. Which collector? I don't know. Who's got the money in his house to pay all that? So this is what we need the uh, shovel for. Open the graves to get the loot. I think that's it. Okay, let's go back. Sunny smiles, I guess. Oh yeah, we gotta make that healing potion or whatever. you got yeah these will do just fine just fine all right now we're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder go on over to that campfire now give it a try oh, yeah hey, that's not bad see all it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Yeah, uh, let's not get too heavy into discussions like this, though, Rez. Hey, do me a favor. It, I, I do agree, though, it's a touchy subject. And I will say that it's it is the woman's choice. I think she'd be cross with you. It should be. Ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Let's uh let's let's leave the subject for now. Uh let's get okay, where are we going? Fucking controls. Go meet Trudy at the Prospector Saloon. Yeah, let's do that first. Yeah, it's all good, Rez. I just don't wanna. I wanna keep it lighthearted and not get too heavy on the uh, the heavy discussions. Nice. Where's Dalton when you need him? I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to Cut off, ground. buddy. You're fucking get out of here. We'll keep that in <laughs> mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? Want to fight? Joe Cobb? Hello? 
Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Uh... I over, over, overheard your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after. <laughs> it definitely has the the most fitting soundtrack, I think. So we gave him a it just sounds like a Western soundtrack. I actually expect anyone to come out. Johnny Guitar. Uh, where is that fucker now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. <laughs> you fucking want one? Exactly. Uh, what are you gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chain gangs, really. The they sound like they put powder on their face, like the rail lines. like probably baby powder in front of a mirror or something. Convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. <laughs> big iron on his so head. Together so they can make <laughs> That's what we're dealing with now. Uh, why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. <laughs> he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip. <laughs> exactly. Never mind. All right. Uh, what happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I so should I help? I know what I'm going to do, but should I help Ringo or should I help the Powder Gangers? The powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. So I help Ringo and Good Springs will like me more. What if I help the Powder Gangers? What if? Don't know why you want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Who's that man you're arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. I'm gonna track down the people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. It you have the songs on your phone? Nice. You can listen to them anytime you want. Oh, yeah, help Good Springs. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, did my attackers say where they're going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. So I think if we That's help the Powder Gangers, they don't become merchants or anything. They don't, they don't help out in town. They just kind of move in. And we lose two or three merchants. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive. Which it could be, for all I know. So where are they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15. He'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going your on. Your face in the broke on the inside. And Mr. New Vegas <laughs> seems like such a gentleman. Uh. Do you know the robot that rescued me? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. What does he actually do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. You don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. How long has he been in Good Springs? He was here when I took over the saloon. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna exhaust all the dialogue Nobody options as much as I can. Here, but no one knows who it was. Never mind. Fine by me. Uh, does Good Good Springs get any visitors? Get many visitors. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim. 
Unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Should I go fight Deathclaws right away? <laughs> Anything interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Tell me about the NCR. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Why do you think the NCR and the Legion both want the dam? Power. I'm pretty sure the Literal power. to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. Yeah. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No to idea throw people over it. Dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. What can you tell me about the Legion? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. 100%. The, is the Cazador the sucks. Than the NCR lets on. I've died more to the Cazador the than the Death Claws, I think. Yeah, the Cazador is the devil, basically. <laughs> the godless heathens of insects. Exactly. They are worse than death. Goodbye. Be careful out there. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see if we can... Oh yeah, we got some notes. Let's read some notes here. The radio at the Prospector Saloon in Good Springs was broken by visiting Great Khan. Judy has offered to pay you if you could fix it. Oh no, a Kazaklaw? Shit. Like a Deathclaw that can fly? That poisons you. No thank you. Holy shit. That's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Holy shit. Well, let's read that first note. Mojave Express Delivery Order, 6 out of 6. <laughs> the death <Sador. laughs> Instructions! Deliver the package at the north entrance to the Vegas Strip by way of Freeside. An agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint. Take possession of the package and pay for the delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Express Agency in Prim. Bonus on completion, 250 caps. Manifest. This package contains one oversized poker chip composed of platinum. Contract penalties. You are an authorized agent of the Mojave Express package until the delivery is complete. Payment has been processed. Contractually obligated to complete this transaction and materially responsible for any malfeasance or loss. Failure to deliver to the proper recipient may result in forfeiture of your advance and bonus, criminal charges, and or pursuit, pursuit by mercenary reclamation teams. The Mojave Express is not responsible for any injury or loss of life you experience as a result of said uh, reclamation efforts. That does sound like a final boss. Death. Cause of death. <laughs> oh yeah, let's repair the radio. Uh, an examination of the radio's internal components reveals that several parts and connections were popped loose when the radio hit the floor. It should be a fairly simple repair job to get it working again. Repair of 20 or greater required. We will repair the radio. I think we get a bonus if our uh, barter is like 20 or more or something. Maybe we got 30 barter. Heartache by the number? I can't hear it. I can barely hear it. <laughs> hey. Hey. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Uh, I fixed the radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. That's it? Are you implying that I've done shoddy work? Not at all. I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That's you hear perfectly? Good. Now, Good. How about so I'm guessing the audio mix is perfect then too. Be careful out there. This guy's just sitting here, he's not even drinking or anything. Offer to help Ringo deal with the powder gangers. Do that. You got 7.1 surround sound? Oh man. Earphones. You hear everything. Nice. 
So it's all 3D. <laughs> like Leahy when he's a liquor. He's always a liquor. Let the liquor do the thinking. Holy shit. Hopefully no one dies in this firefight. And do not go that way if you're early level and you want to live. Do not go that way. That way is certain death. <laughs> That's close enough. Who are you? What do you want with me? I'm not an enemy if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Whenever uh, any of us uh, chug you. liquor in our group, you know how to we play. go, lay he, lay he, lay he. What are the rules of Caravan? It's a two player game, and the winner takes the whole I fucking party. hate this game. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. So complicated. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids, so there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow pace. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the <laughs> You'll also need a deck, so take That sounds fun actually getting high and mowing the lawn. That sounds fun. You feel like playing a game? Uh where can I find more cards, first of all? Just keep an eye out for them while you travel. I've found cards in old boxes or forgotten on shelves. Can find some for sale too. I don't have time for a game right now, Ringo. All right. Uh, can you tell me anything about Good Springs? I've never stopped here until recently. You're better off asking one of the locals. Yeah, he wouldn't know. He's stuck in a gas station. You know, there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you. Yeah, he doesn't look very tough though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. There's no windows in here, I'll crazy have a Ringo. Problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. <laughs> I'm freaking telling! <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, why are the powder gangers out to get you? My caravan was on the return trip from California. Heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when you got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there were too many of them. I took a few of the uh, not really. I've watched like little well, clips of Letter Kenny here and there, but never a full episode. What do you do around here? Oh, sorry. I thought everybody knew already. I'm a trader with the Crimson Caravan Company. I'm a uh, Staying in town for a bit. I see. Did you want something else? What are you going to do about the powder gangers? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Is that what, what they say on uh, Letter Kenny? Pitter patter gets let's get at her. That's that's been around before that. I've heard that expression before. You need a hired gun. I'm available. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps. But you get me out of this, and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. We'll have to do. What now? We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town... Were it is. I thought so. Yeah. Uh, I'll ask around and see who can I round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. That's a Texas size 10 4 there, good buddy. <laughs> Ooh, look at all this good shit we can take. Is that whiskey? All the loots. Sweet. 
How is this not stealing? This is his. I'm definitely stealing it. Dirty ball cap. Sweet. That's stealing. That's his. Everything else is public. That's public property. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to start a problem with uh, those Canada Goose. They fucking are there to fuck you up. Yeah, let's make a save here, actually. Save it up, save it up. So we're going to talk to Kriya, uh, Easy P, Chet, and Doc Mitchell. But first, Sunny Smiles, I think. Yeah, she she recommends we talk to those those three cats for help. <laughs> Give your balls a tug, tit fucker. <laughs> I've never heard of Shorzy. He must be from Letterkenny too. <laughs> I gotta watch that. I think it's on Netflix. Howdy. Howdy. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Uh. Well, first I need to go. I need to get to Prim. Can you suggest the route? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with the roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. They're all from Letter Kenny, right on. Good job of keeping the highway clear. Right on. Not keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Uh, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna help Ringo on the uh, take on the powder gangs. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Just like I have that. A feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know it's tight. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. Because they're if short. We could convince Trudy to join us. Some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere. And Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim pack, that'd be great. Oh yeah, I love Trailer Park Boys. It's uh, it's funny. It's heartfelt. It's uh, it's got lessons. It's got depth. Uh, any ideas on how to convince Trudy to join us? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Would Chet be willing to give us his supplies? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. How can I get Easy Pete's dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. What do you do around here, first of all? I hunt geckos, mostly. That's it. The meat's pretty good, and I can always find a buyer for the hides. The meat's pretty good. I keep the town clear of rat scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in Good Springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Let's talk about the areas around Good Springs. Sure. What do you want to know? Uh, what other towns are nearby? Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. The NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks, <laughs> and I heard they got troubles lately. <laughs> eight, nine cans of ravioli. You, First one doesn't count. Second or third, you, play, uh, you burn with a blowtorch. <laughs> I just kept the eating. NCR. The new California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west. Fixing like, realistically, how many home. how many uh, cans of ravioli could you eat? The roads are safer of them. I think I could eat I probably three. Not that I got a choice. And then I'd be done. Like, 
normal sized cans of ravioli. What does the NCR keep you safe from? Well, the wildlife for one thing, rowdy locals for another. They're protecting their own. Four for you? Yeah. Just happens to help us. Yeah, they're if you're really hungry, I guess four could be no problem. But I don't know how you could eat nine cans of ravioli. Uh, what do you know about the other group? Got a funny name. Call themselves Caesar's Legion. Never seen. I bet they like Caesar salad. I, much. I hear rumors. That's about it. Supposedly they keep slaves and they got some real nasty ways of killing folks. But maybe that's just something folks in the NCR cooked up to make themselves seem more useful here. Less uninvited. What kind of creatures are out there? Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. <laughs> That's good, that means you can eat more. That's all I wanted to know, let's talk about something else. If you want to know anything else, just ask. Goodbye. I'll be waiting. I should buy some ravioli. And some, uh, oh, I just remembered I have pizza pops. I'll have some pizza pops later tonight. Ravioli and some some salad with uh, Catalina dressing would be good right now. Chocolate milk. Oh, yeah. Great, Easy Pete. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Uh, do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seems to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of the <laughs> If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got. Well, that's good. Keep on what you keep doing. Patient. What you're doing. You can't be trusted. I'd say. Uh, I hear. Or what do you know about Joe Cobb? Bad trouble. I wish I was. 185 pounds. I'm about uh, 250, 260. That's helpful. Welcome. Why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Big Horners. <laughs> you want to trade? <laughs> uh, you a prospector like digging for gold and silver? Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for. I'm gonna get down to two twenty five. Two twenty five is like my goal weight. Call it salvaging, but never like the term. Exercise a bit more, walk more, and eat less junk food and drink less soda. I think is the main thing. Good stuff. Less ravioli too. Spare parts. Good money in it. Did you ever find anything good while prospecting? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once. Way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. What's wrong with the NCR? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent. See, that's what I don't like about the NCR. Like they kind of force the NCR you to join. Still... The NCR keeps the Legion away. Uh, tell me about the Legion. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. Get swole, baby. A couple of years ago, Fucking be a uh, uh, burly boy. The NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't, or... All gains, no pains. The Legion's got its strength back. Is getting ready for yeah, it's, it's good to have a sport that's like recreational, like like whatever it is, like you say, boxing or, or wrestling or anything, baseball, hockey, fucking bicycling, whatever. So that even when you're just playing sports, it's it's a workout. And you're staying active. Uh, what's so important about Hoover Dam? The dam powers a lot of New Vegas. And then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. What do you use the big horners for? 
Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. That's the best goal there is, man. Just keep doing what you're doing. Stay active. You gotta be careful. Stay fit. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Do you know anything about Victor? The machine? I've slowly started getting a bit more uh, inactive since my high school days. But I'm slowly working my way back. I used to play fucking volleyball, curling, high school weightlifting. Uh, yeah, gotta get back into it. I hear you've got dynamite after all this conversation. It would help us to beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. Wanna kill all the cells if I let you touch it. Better leave it buried. Safe. It's life. buried? Where is it buried? Oh shit, we need five more. Never mind. Yep. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> this is regular Pete. <laughs> Hardcore Pete. Thousand Rising Suns Pete. <laughs> Whoa! Soccer. Hey, we need five more explosives, right? Do we have any books? Boxing. Oh, that's unarmed. Weapons. Science. Barter, medicine, shit, no explosive book. Hmm. We may have to level up, uh, like get out of town here a different way. And obesity, um, it's, I want to say it's as bad as the States. Like, I haven't seen the States firsthand in 20 years or so. Uh, but there are more and more bigger people. Definitely. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. Is a bum yeah, for a leg? Are scarce, but he poops I'll out of his leg. What I can spare. I'll be using explosives. Do you have something far for more serious injuries? Glad we have thirty medicine. Ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. Two doctor's bags? Nice. You take care now. Okay, I think once we get uh, out of Good Springs, once we finish this quest, once we... Once we get to Gene skydiving, I think I'm going to stop the stream for tonight. i got to get up fairly early tomorrow morning. I don't want to play some more Bloodborne off stream. But I wish we could have played for longer. This is something that I could play for hours on end without a camera. So I'll stream it for hours on end without a camera as well. Maybe there's an explosive magazine in here. Thirty nine point six is the obesity rate of America. That seems low. I thought it'd be about about fifty percent. But that's almost fifty percent. Seventy million people, holy shit.
That is a lot of unhealthiness. I thought there was one more weapon repair kit here. From what I remember. Hmm. Okay, so we gotta talk to Chet and I guess Sunny smiles once we're done talking to everybody else. Oh, Trudy as well. Okay. So Chet and Trudy. Yeah, that seems like a perfectly normal weight for your height. Because how do they calculate that? Just by your, your height and your weight, right? That body mass index. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Um <laughs> You should you should help me take down the powder gang. Bullets, explosions, lots of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks. Yeah. I'll see if I can yeah. find up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. That's where I'm heading next. Goodbye. Be out there. This is one thing I prefer about New Vegas over Fallout 3, is that the stores don't close and the merchants are open 24-7. They just wake up. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Uh, do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Anything else you could tell me about the great cons? They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The Great Khans deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by Great Khans. Or like Great Chems, am I right? Have you ever been to New Vegas? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card table. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice. Behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. I'd like to know more about Mr. House. I'm afraid I don't know much myself. 
Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casino sounds like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. So I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's got to be a good thing, right? What do you know about the situation with the Powder Gangers? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for power talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. Tell me about weapon mods and special ammo. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow-point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. What makes the surplus ammo inferior? It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. I need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. <laughs> Let them take over the town then. I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Oh, I understand. I understand. Goodbye. Take it easy now. Oh, B Space, what's up, man? How you doing? Welcome back. This is my first ever stream on the PS3. It's going pretty good so far. Oh, I just stream like Dead Space and shit. Get those up on my YouTube. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta get a uh, twenty five explosives. Is there anything in eat? That space is so good, man. Especially the first two. Three is alright as well. Oh yeah. Actually I have the DLC for the third one. I haven't played it yet. It'd be cool to do the whole thing in series. It's something that raises our explosives by five or perception by like three. Close. If we take a Mentat, because I think each each additional point in a special stat will raise our skill by two, if I remember correctly. So that should raise it by four points. And then one more thing that adds one more. Easy Bree! Oh, you're back! How are you doing, Easy Bree? Easy Breek. Easy Bree C. Bree C. Yeah, it's been a while since you've been here. How are you doing? Just Bree? Cool. Easy Bree. Easy. Mentats and something else. I only tobacco chew, that's what we should take. I'm focusing on work and school, right on. What kind of work do you do? Yeah, where's easy peak? Oh, 
Jones. Yeah, I want to make sure that perception increases explosives. I'm pretty sure it does. I just got to make sure. Yes. And Mentats. Now we should have 26 explosives. 20, what the fuck? What? What? How come that didn't work? Oh, because our perception's at 10 already. Holy shit. Reload. Reload. Your photographer, nice, nice. I've got a few friends who are photographers. Uh, yeah, one's taking photos of my band. Right on. Do you go to school for, for uh, photography too? Dude, nice, nice. What kind of photography do you uh, specialize in? Okay, I think we got to respec now. Yeah, exactly. You get to, to photograph and see all these beautiful places. Exactly. What's the most beautiful place you've ever been to and photographed? Uh, but first, let's go. Landscape and travel? Cool, cool, cool. So by travel, you mean like like road trip pictures or, or travel pictures. Oh yeah, I hear there's good many good money in uh, wedding photography. Back to the scumbag, Martin Thorn. Hey. Hello? Can you help me? Uh, what's wrong? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Where is she? Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. I'll see what I can do. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. All right, sounds good, Bree. Get that sleep. Hope to see you soon again. So this is a little unmarked miscellaneous quest. Oh, I guess we're going to do this now, eh? Uh, our name is good. Rebuild character. Character is good. Okay, we're going to go 968... One five six five. Nine six eight one five six five. Eight endurance so that we can get all the necessary uh, implants. And That's more than enough. That's good. Traits now. Shit. Wild Wasteland and Good Natured. I finished. Let's put this into 
Ooh, perfect. Oh, shit. Uh, no, let's go. I think we need 30 survival for that. Yeah. We could take Hunter. Combat, you do plus 75% critical damage against animals and mutated animals. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. Someone got fucked up. It's possible to trigger this bear trap without injuring yourself. We will disarm the bear trap. Nice. Got tons more uh, pistol ammo. Search Johnny. Johnny Guitar? He is the stinky son of a bitch. Sorry I tricked you, but thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there after I deal with you. I'm gonna die. Sledgehammer? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Okay, what can we eat?
Let's make another save right here. Now we should have more than enough uh, explosive skill. Howdy. Howdy. I hear you've got dynamite. I would help us. It would help us to beat the powder gangers. Told you before. It's too dangerous for a bunch of amateurs. I've leveled up. I'm not an amateur anymore. I'm familiar with the care and handling of explosive dynamite included. Uh huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Goodbye. Yep. And a level up already. Nice. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? She did. Sunny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Yeah, you can fuck off. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Uh, I'm ready. You better be too. Oh, Easy P came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Hopefully, no NPCs die. If they do, I'll just reload it. Is Joey Cobb. Hey, not bad. Oh, yeah, go running in there. That'll end up nicely for you. Who are you? Oh, you're dead. Yeah, block onto the big corner, why don't you? Fuck. we got coming to get you
Kill my Pete. Oh, ho, 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 brutes. You have established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland. Whether that reputation is good or bad, you're finally somebody. The people associated with the group will start to react to what you've done. There are many different factions in the wasteland, and you can develop a distinct reputation with each one. As you perform actions that benefit a group, you will gain fame. If you Perform actions, I think that's a typo. If you perform actions that harm a group, you will gain, gain infamy. Your reputation with any given group is a measure of the combined total of fame and infamy that you have earned. The benefits and drawbacks of any given reputation depend on the group itself. You may receive discounts with merchants, provoke attacks from hired thugs, or simply be treated differently. Good Springs Light, enough news of your good works have been passed around, but people like you. That's people like you. Powder gangers shunned. You've left a poor impression on the community by killing them and may be shunned as a result. I didn't want that baseball bat. Everybody alive? Hey, Ringo. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Didn't I hear you say something earlier about not being able to pay me now? I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. I owe you more than that, though, so look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. Will do. Okay, we gotta make sure Chet, Trudy, Sunny Smiles, and Easy Pete are alive. Pretty sure they are. Hey there. They're sunny. Ringo. Pete. Uh, where's Chet? Hope Chet's back in here. What? Oh, good, he's here. Good. And Trudy, I don't think she was involved in the fight, though. I have to go check. See, so yeah, once we make it to the uh, the next location outside of Good Springs, I think it's like a, a flight school or a skydiving school. We'll call it a stream for today. Good, good, good. So yeah, I want to stream longer tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what yet, though. Probably either this, Fallout 4, or continuing Dark Souls 1, the uh, Soul Level 1 run. It'll probably be this, though, because I like it. Fun to play it again. Good 
Big iron on his hip. That's where we're going next. Town with the roller coaster. Grim. Grim and proper. <laughs> yeah. Twenty six stim packs. Nice. I want to. Keep it that way. I want to keep gaining stim packs, not using them. All right, so we'll call it a stream right about here, I think. Fast travel. Just in time, you have discovered several locations. And fast travel back to discover locations using the world map in your pip boy. Yeah, so I'll probably stream tomorrow. Uh, either this, like I said, or Fallout 4, or Dark Souls 1. All right. Hope you guys had fun, because I sure as hell had fun. And hope you'll be back, because I sure as hell will be back. My name is Beardo Cleaver. Thanks for watching. Come on.